Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to install thin client Windows 7 embedded standard machine. So nowadays most of the companies providing VDI solution means virtual desktop infrastructure solutions uh, to to host a, like users uh, desktop on a centralized hypervisor or a centralized server like VMware, Hyper-V or a Xen server. So, so in this video we are going to install a thin client a machine basically which is which is running on windows embedded machine so you can get the thin client hardware as well as from uh, many of the companies so they are basically providing the embedded operating system on uh, which is pre-installed on those thin client machines so we'll see how how to install a thin client thin client operating system so let's have some idea about my demo environment so in my demo environment i am using two virtual machine here the first one is went to get 12 dc01 which is my active directory server if you go here you can see i have installed active directory dhcp and dns role on this machine and this is fully functional domain control basically and i have configured one uh, dhcp scope in my uh, on D a domain control server which is uh, here you can see the distributed uh, address pool 192.168.1.154 to 200 so and my second machine is I'm going to create the virtual machine with this name and might be in your uh, in, in your in environment you will get the physical thin client machine but the installation of thin client div uh, thin client windows 7 embedded machine is same for both uh, uh, like uh, virtual machines or uh, or physical thin client devices so let's have the installation here so in my case I don't have physical machine so I'm going to create one virtual machine and will install the thin client on uh, Windows 7 embedded on that machine so click next and here we have I'm going to select the Windows 7 64 bit and type the name thin client 01 and click next and now just give it 20 GB hard drive it will not take more than like 3 or 4 GB so uh, just assign the 20 GB for now click next and finish now you can see the machine is created here so what I'm going to do I'm going to do some basic setting here assign a 2 GB RAM is go okay so just now I'm going to mount the ISO installation image for Windows 7 embedded so in my ISO folder I have Windows 7 Im Windows client embedded and I'm going to select the Windows 7 embedded standard click open and put in the network on which domain control is and move the unwanted device like USB and printer click OK now just power on this machine so same way you need to power on your uh, uh, win, uh, Windows 10 client machine if you are having a, a physical hardware for thin client devices so it's loading the operating system so now windows embedded is standard 7 so we have two option here build an image or uh, deploy and answer file or WMI so I'm going to build an image for thin client so click on that build an image and we will uh, get some option here to for the different different profile different different like images so we'll select from there so just wait for a few seconds here so here windows 7 embedded is standard 7 so respect one i accept the license terms click next and now we have a, a template basically which we have created uh, which uh, by default microsoft provide so choose how to create your image so use template we have application compatibility digital signature industry automation internet and these settings so minimum configuration we have set set top box and we have a thin client also if you don't want to go with these templates you can go here and select do not use a template and click next and then will you will get the option for automatically detect device do not so so this is going to install all the basically required features so I'm I'm going to install a thin client device so I'm going to click here on a use a template and thin client so let's click next click next and here you can see the summary of drivers and feature which which is going to installed here so you can see 
everything here like management what is going to install and in networking we have a features which is going to install domain services beds remote desktop windows firewall these things is going to be installed here and you can basically click and view all the things which is going to install so this is basically coming from uh, coming from the template which we have cre selected thin client so if you want to modify any feature you can click on modify and you can modify the feature as well as so al also you can see estimated OS footprint is uh, almost 2 GB here so click next and if you go here on feature package you can select here like if you don't want to install internet explorer you can go ahead and deselect it and same setting you can go ahead and select some features if you don't want to install so looks good and go resolve dependency so everything looks fine and now you can see that estimated OS size is increased and click next and you have a driver and features click next here now you can see the drive size which we have created 20 GB so go ahead and click next and now you can see the copying windows file is running and it, it will not take too much time to install the uh, uh, this thin client uh, image you can see the installation speed is very fast and it will take around less than five minutes to get the installation done for windows 7 embedded machine so expanding windows file is done now it's installing feature and updates so this this will take some time so just hold for a few seconds to get the this task done it's uh, still running it will take some time so just hold on so installation is done it's now rebooting the machine so just hold on so now it will not take too long to get the installation completed for us so it's setup is updating registry setting so here it is it's now completing installations for us so machine is taking one more reboot and this is the final report for the uh, installation uh, complete so just wait so should I be checking video performance so here we are windows 7 embedded standard so put the name here I am going to use a uh, user and computer name thin client hyphen zero one the first machine which I'm going to deploy and I'm not going to set any password for now so let's use this without key it's going to ask for like 30 days evaluation mode install evaluation copy yes and here you can see so use the recommended setting and just click next and home network select the home network so it will take the IP address from here if you go and see the machine is taking the IP address from here but the machine is still in work group so we'll join this machine in our domain victorinfosol.com so windows is finalizing so here you can say windows embedded standard 7 evaluation copy preparing your desktop
so here you can see the installation is done we are we have logged in so now let's verify the IP address here and if everything good so it's connected with victorinfosol.com and also you can see the it's taking the IP address from um, the machine so let's verify one more thing here if you go to properties you can see Windows 7 embedded and let's join this machine thin client machine in domain so here it is Victor infosol.com and put the credential to join this machine in domain and hit enter so welcome to Victor infosol.com so let's reboot So hit control to Dell and now logged in with your domain account. I have account on my AD. So let's log in with user zero one. So this is all about the installation of uh, Windows 10 client machine. And if you go and check, it's taking uh, around 4 GB. Uh, uh, footprint to space to install the Windows 7 embedded so so this is all about installing the thin client Windows 7 embedded standard so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post to me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye